So I gotta admit, for something from Joy Behar to shock me, it has to be something that is absolutely insane to say, considering that most of the women, if not all the women on The View, have all just begun to go down the slippery slope of pure psychosis, but we have an article here from The Daily Wire that says Joy Behar seems fine with sex changes for minors, and she says it's not like they're 80% of the population or anything. So apparently it's totally fine to mutilate kids so long as they are not a massive amount of the population that's actually happening to, because someone like Joy Behar obviously lives in such comfort that they don't ever actually have to see the results of their ideology. So we're going to get into this article, guys. But of course, before we do, just consider giving this video a like to push us out into the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing because we're on our way to 24,000 subscribers. Now, let's talk about this crazy, crazy woman, Joy Behar. Now, obviously, we guys like you all know, Joy Behar is a psychopath, right? Everybody on The View is a psychopath. Whoopi Goldberg, everybody, right? They all have ideologies that just go into the uh, the realm of insanity, the likes of which you would expect from a bunch of women who are on the obvious left liberal machine. But the thing is, to say that minors are perfectly fine with getting gender mutilations as long as they're not part of the major population just seems a little bit extreme to me. You're basically saying that so long as you don't have to see it, so long as you don't have to see the repercussions of your ideology and what actually happens when you put kids into this profiting machine, because that's basically what you're doing, then it's perfectly fine. They're not, they're not the majority, so it's okay. It's all good for it to happen. Let's see what uh, Daily Wire has to say. It says, Joy Behar sounded like she's fine with sex changes from minors, saying that it's not like they're 80% of the population, as she slammed Republicans for passing bills that ban such procedures. Shout out to the Republicans for doing something good. The View co-host made the comments on Wednesday's broadcast while speaking to Elliot Page, the actor formerly known as Ellen Page, who now identifies as a man, about the star's new memoir titled Page Boy. The two discussed GOP-led bills passed across the country to stop minors from undergoing irreversible surgeries under the guise of gender-affirming mutilations, a.k.a. gender-affirming care. Now, the thing about Elliot Page, a.k.a. Ellen Page, is that they are obviously grifting on the trans movement, right? This is the same thing that Dylan Mulvaney is doing. The only difference is that Ellen Page has gone the complete way, right? Like, she, she cut it all off and everything like that. She's taking her hormones, supposedly, and you can kind of see the changes. But for the most part, she can pretend as much as she wants. At the end of the day, there is something missing in between the legs. Nothing is swinging. Nothing is hanging. There is a gaping hole there. So you definitely are uh, pretending, but you de I will give you credit uh, that you took it far. You definitely took it farther than most of these grifters that are doing it. It says the two discussed GOP-led bills passed across the country to stop minors from undergoing irreversible surgeries under the guise of gender-affirming care. Page said it felt like the right time to write the book because we live in a time that is so especially rife with anti-trans rhetoric, lies, and misinformation. Be Behar then asked Page about Republicans she claimed are continuing to introduce hundreds of anti-trans bills that will ban so-called gender-affirming health care for transgender youth. Well, that's the thing. Transgender youth is not a thing, right? Transgender youth, youth are being indoctrinated into this movement because it's a money-making machine. Not only that, you get a victim for life. When you indoctrinate a kid to go into this certain group and this certain ideology, you will get a victim for life. Don't give me that bullshit about, oh, they're trying to be their true selves. No, they're trying to be who you told them they are. That's the problem. Like, they don't get this idea coming out of the womb. They are not born with this. They are told about this ideology. They are told about what gender dysphoria is and whatnot and then they suddenly get confused and think that they have it and the next thing you know they wanted to cut off their good body parts so clearly something is very wrong here it says why do you think the transgender community is being attacked like this behar asked what is it what is that about i mean they're not like they're 80 percent of the population so she admits that they are the minority number one which is good thankfully somebody out there is able to actually admit they're a super minority and number two apparently those minority lives the the quality of those lives and the long-term Term effects on the mental health and the well-being of the person have no use to someone like Joy Behar because they are not uh, the majority. So they're such a small amount of the population that their lives don't mean anything. So if they're used to push ideologies and if they're used to profit in big pharma and surgeries and whatnot, then that's okay. It's all good. It's fine. They're a small percent. That's how this person thinks because they don't have to see the actual ramifications of their ideology. Let's watch this video and see what's going on here. As we celebrate Pride Month, um, I guess it's not a surprise to you that Republican lawmakers across the country are, are continuing to introduce hundreds of anti-trans bills that will ban gender-affirming health care for transgender youth. I'm not sure what age they're talking about. Under 18, I think? Yes, under, under 18. Under 18, right? So uh, why do you think the transgender community is being attacked like this? What is that about? I mean, it's not like it's their 80% of the population. 
What's going on over there? Oh, gosh, that's a big question. I mean, I think, um, you know, in many ways, of course, it's a... That voice is inundated with fake testosterone. I'm just telling you, like, you notice that every time a woman tries to become a man and takes hormones, their voice becomes that very scratchy, very, like, high pitch, almost like a helium-induced voice, and they get that because they're on hormones. Like I said earlier in the video, uh, Ellen Page definitely took it far, much farther than most grifters would, and uh, is definitely going the full way. It's a political tool. Yeah. It's to to gain votes. It's to make people upset. It's to distract people from... Scare people. Scare mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Real yeah. issues that are happening in our society that do need to be addressed. And... Um, and I think in, and there's such a uh, such an inundation of lies and misinformation. Like when you had the amazing representative uh, Zoe Zephyr on recently, oh, when she was yeah, describing she what gender affirming for affirming care for youth actually is, yeah. versus what the the lies that are being spread yeah. around. Yeah. 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 The lies that are being spread around, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at your scars and tell me if they're lies or not. This person, Ellen Page, looks extremely sad. I don't know about what if, if anybody else can kind of pick up on that, but in 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 her eyes, it is very clearly like there's pain there, and I I just think that this is the pain that we see in the eyes of a lot of trans people because nobody's helping them. Nobody wants to help them in their actual mental illness. We all just want to affirm them, and that's the problem. It says the Juno Star said bills by Republican lawmakers were probably a political tool to gain votes. It is to make people upset. Page added, it's to distract people from and scare people from real issues that are happening in our society that do need to be addressed. Page didn't explain further what these real issues were. Well, they never do, obviously. And then it goes into a little bit of a backstory that talks about when Page announced to the world in December 2020 that the uh, actress was transgender about six years after coming out as a lesbian. So clearly, coming out as a lesbian wasn't enough in terms of internet celebrity points. Uh, she had to take it one step further and become trans in order to stay relevant in the conversation. It's something that we see happen all the time with Hollywood actors and actresses. They will usually jump on a bunch of social movements if it means that they can get a bunch of clout points online and essentially keep their name in the headlines. This is exactly what Ellen Page did to become Elliot Page, and now we're seeing the uh, fruits of her labor, where she came out with a story, conveniently during Gay Month, by the way, that she was apparently gay-bashed in one of the gayest areas of LA. I haven't covered that story yet. I probably will, so stick around for that video, guys. But it's absolutely insane what's going on the fact that the view is trying to make it seem like the minority here is perfectly fine to mutilate them because they're the minority absolutely insane story so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out